Hello students. Today we are going to do the poem Childhood by Marcus Natten of class 11 from Hornbill. Childhood by Marcus Natten is an adult's lamentation over his loss of his childish innocence. The poet feels disappointed because he thinks being a child was better than being an adult. A child's life is peaceful and really sweet while an adult's character is very complicated. we all know how our childhood is or how a child is child is carefree he is always cool happy less worried free to do anything less restricted whereas adult he is complex he is frustrated mostly a fake personality show off copying others full of anxieties worries dejection fear of war death and loss so that is why uh in this poem the poet thinks over his lost childhood because he feels that adults uh, character is very complicated so uh, the poet wants uh, uh, that his lost childhood he uh, could get back but he cannot get it back he can find his childhood on the face of children who have not yet lost their childhood so he uh, wonders about the moment where he lost the innocence and realized that the world is not what it seemed to be so he wants uh, as i said that the child um, childhood is care uh, a time when he, a child is carefree he is cool he is happy no restrictions are there and he is free to do anything so he wants to have that same period he wants the same period to return to him and uh, that is why he asked this question in his poem uh, childhood has been considered as a blissful period of one's life and in this poem the poet exhibits its curiosity to know when an individual ceases to be a child the process of growing up from a child to an adolescent and an adult is an inevitable one and there is no line of demarcation between the various stages of life so the poet he begins the poem by putting forth this question to himself and what is that question when did my childhood go was it the day i ceased to be 11 was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be was that the day so he wonders when did his childhood leave him and where could it be found now so uh, he asked this question to himself and he asked himself that was it the day he was no longer 11 years old was it the day when he realized that hell and heaven existed uh, and yet could not be found in geography or on the map he realized that they are imaginary places that actually do not exist in this world so education made the poet question his faith and look at the world much more rationally and he realizes that he might have lost his childhood when he gained this rational outlook so this paragraph this stanza it is about rationalism rationalism means reasoning he uh, uh, wonders that was the day was that the day when he realized that the concepts of heaven and hell uh, which he had been taught of since his youngest years and uh, they did not exist geography textbook did not give the location of any such place so was that the day that he lost his childhood the day when he no longer remained 11 years old so in the first stanza he uh, had made this guess that when uh, when might he uh, when he might have lost his childhood now coming to the second stanza which talks about hypocrisy hypocrisy of adults he again asked this question when did my childhood go was it the time 
I realized that adults were not all they seemed to be. Adults means the grown-up people, seemed means appeared. They talked of love and preached of love. Preached of love means they gave speech uh, on love. They uh, gave sermons on love, but did not act so lovingly was that the day means they talked of love they preached of love but they did not act so lovingly they did not love anyone their love was fake so again he asked the same questions in the second stanza and wonders if it is the day when the child develops a new perception with which he is able to see through the hypocrisy of the adults means the adults um, they talk of love they preached of love but in actuality they are double faced so was that the day that he lost his childhood means uh, the adults they do not uh, i mean they talked of love they preached of love but yet never behaved so lovingly they are double faced in reality means uh, the words or the advice that they give they do not practice it themselves so was that the day that he lost his childhood uh, so uh, notice that this is perhaps uh, the longest line of the poem marcus is a genius at putting punctuation to use the length of this line and the difficulty to recite it in one go indicates that this is perhaps the biggest loss the child has suffered the child has suffered means uh, the the broken trust is the another major step towards the adulthood he realized this in this stanza the child he lost his faith in the adults around him whom he had so far trusted without question and their latent hypocrisy became evident to the growing child means the child is now uh, able to understand that these people uh, i mean what they show they are not in actual they are hypocrites and this is the first step towards adulthood means adults are uh, cannot be trusted they uh, talk of love they preach of love but they do not act themselves lovingly so uh, this stanza it talks about hypocrisy now the third stanza here uh, the poet is pondering over the same questions uh, if it was the day when his personality acquired individuality so this stanza it talks about individuality means where he is talking about uh, other possibilities like he says when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine my mind was really mine means uh, i had my own opinions i wanted i was an independent person i could think uh, on my own uh, i do not have to uh, depend on the thinking of other people so was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone was that the day so in this stanza the poet deliberates on the same question and about when he lost his childhood he asked himself about possibilities he wonders about the day he realized that his mind was his own and could use it the way he wants when he realized that he could produce his own thoughts which were not bound by anyone when he sensed his own individuality and a separate personality was that the day he lost his childhood so as the child grew up uh, he realized that his mind was unique could form its own opinions and could take its own decisions he gained a sense of individuality which set him free from the prejudiced opinions of others around him his own experiences shaped his thoughts now and he realized that his this might have been the time he lost his childhood innocence completely so uh, in this stanza he uh, could i mean he got his own mind he had his own thoughts and he had his own individuality so he says was that the time that i lost my childhood 
Now in the last answer, the question changes. Till now he asked that when did my childhood go? But see here, he concludes the question, uh, the poem by expressing his regret at the loss of his childhood. And see what he asks over here. He says, where did my childhood go? It went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face. That's all I know. Infant is a newborn baby. So in the last stanza, the poet remorses, means feels sad about his lost childhood. He concludes that his childhood had gone to some forgotten place which will never come back. He cherished, he enjoyed his innocence which vanished now and could be only seen in a baby's face. He only has sweet memories of his childhood which would soon fade away. He also conveyed a message that the innocence of childhood stays till the time on till the time one is an infant and that is all he knows so uh, the last three lines can be interpreted in two ways firstly the poet claimed that his childhood is nothing more than a long lost memory he recalls his infancy and believes that his true childhood resides there means obviously in a face of a child in infant's face and that innocence cannot resurface in his lifetime once you uh, enter into an adulthood that innocence of your childhood it cannot come uh, back to you the poet believes that his childhood has become nothing more than a memory of for him but has become the reality of some other infant innocence is a cyclical process where lost from one person it travels to another finding residence there. Thus, till date, adults can easily, re easily recall and seem to almost relive their own childhood through an infant in their lives. Now, coming to the literary devices used here, as I said, the first in the first stanza, you could see I have mentioned rationalism. Uh, here, poet, he rationalizes the lost childhood when he was 11 and he found out that hell and heaven don't exist and are not found in the geography. Refrain. Refrain is a group of phrase which is repeated in the poem. And if you see, all these three stanzas, they have one line that has been repeated again and again. When did my childhood go? Was that the day? Now the second stanza, it talks about hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Uh, when uh, poet found out that the adults preached one but practiced another, they preached love but they were not so lovable. The third uh, stanza is about individuality. Uh, he now understands his individuality, the child, that he can make his own decision and is the master of his own decisions. Repetition or refrain, I have already told you the lines that repeated again and again in the three stanzas antithesis what is antithesis it is a rhetorical device in which two opposite ideas are put together in a sentence to achieve a contrasting effect means you will find two opposite ideas here you will find it in the third line from the top hell and heaven hell and heaven they are completely two opposite ideas then you have other poetic devices like alliteration, my mind. In the third stanza, whichever way I choose, whichever way, whichever way, WW. Okay, so wherever you see the repetition of consonant sound, poetic device is alliteration. Then you have another poetic device which is called inversion when the subject verb order is reversed here you will see this in the line to uh, use whichever way i choose in the third stanza third line to use whichever way i choose it is known as inversion because the normal word order of a uh, structure um, i mean it is the subject verb order and uh, it is reversed or you can say yes it is reversed over here so the poetic device used is inversion i hope 
this poem is clear to you it is very simple so coming to the exercise identify the stanza that talks of each of the following this i have already discussed that uh, individuality is in the third stanza rationalism is in the first stanza and hypocrisy is in the second stanza now what according to the poem is involved in the process of growing up according to the poem the process of growing up involves attaining maturity and becoming a rational and logical thinker when the poet became an adult he was able to see hypocrisy in other people he could distinguish in the behavior of double standard preach and talk of love a grown up can tell a difference between reality and fantasy a mature person stresses on his thoughts and is capable of having his own opinion now the question 3 what is the poet's feeling towards childhood poet is disappointed and puzzled by the loss of his childhood he wanted to know when was the moment he became a grown up and lost the innocence of an infant he expresses his confusion by asking that when and where did his childhood go now what do you think are the most poetic lines and why the most poetic lines are it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know poet beautifully describes the disappearance of his childhood he talks about how one can find innocence in an infant's face it is a process of life that an individual grows up and slowly starts understanding the concept of the world and people around them during childhood a person believes in things that aren't true or has a different set of reality when the child grows up and is able to process his own thoughts he realizes that many things don't exist the way he thought them to be so the poem uh this i mean as i said it described the uh poet's uh, curiosity to know when did he uh, lose his childhood uh, since he believed that uh, uh po i'm talking about the poet that he lost the innocence and purity of his childhood to some unknown and unforgettable place so through this poem the readers are confronted with the question as to when and where have we lost our childhood and the answers lead to self discovery so this is all about this poem childhood if you have anything to ask you can ask me in the group thank you